It's a hot day, and I'm going to be heading over to the jump park to go hit some jumps on the electric unicycle. So I think I'm going to roll with the Lazy Rolling Performance hoodie. This thing is nice and breathable. Has This one is outfitted with my heaviest duty pads in all of them. And I rocked it that way just to kind of see how it feel with the lightest weight breathable jacket with the heaviest duty pads in it. And it actually feels really good. Um, I mean, you can see I got the beefy beefy shoulder pads in this one and I love it guys this thing holds up great super breathable well I'm even roll wearing their t-shirt what a coincidence right when I wanted to do the video and on the pants guys I do have the lazy rolling jeans I like those for casual days or whatnot I just got a size too big on it literally just too big guys so the knee pads kind of come down a little bit short right here so if you're getting the jeans or, or the lazy rolling pants, I would honestly get like a size lower than your typical size on the length. Just so those knee pads hit at the right spot on the inside of those jeans. They're awesome lazy rolling jeans, guys. Got them over there. I'll show them to you real quick. So you see, these are, I mean, they're really high quality jeans, guys. They're awesome jeans. I love them. You can see, though, they're just, I got them too long, man. That's it. I literally love these jeans so much, but I got them too long. So if you want to get these for your casual night rides where you're not going to be jumping and riding over like 40 miles an hour, I mean, you can't even tell the knee pads are in these, but they do have knee pads in them. And that's what I love about lazy rolling stuff is you don't look like you're, you know, um, Terminator about to go take down every army on the, the seven continents. So... Lazy rolling gear is kind of cool, casual, but it offers a ton of protection. Like with this, dude, I feel super protected. Look at this backpack. Like, like you could go down hard. And the thing is, guys, it's gel-like. You see that? It's actually gel-like and very bendable. But it hardens on impact. Like it hardens hard on impact. So now these right here, these Liat knee pads are you, you a must-have with electric unicycle. You probably see everybody wearing these. Um, you know, I was arguably one of one of the first riders out there wearing these guys and it just was, it, it was a no-brainer. I wore them in every video you've seen them. Uh, the white pair of them I have. I mean, look at this. Look at, look at the use these things have gotten, guys. I mean, that is so, so much, like, that's crazy. That is honestly crazy how, how much these have saved me. I mean, that is incredible. These have saved me countless times. And I bought a new pair, exact same size, but they didn't have the white color in stock at the time. So I got this ugly, god awful, ugly green color, dude. They didn't have the black or the white in stock when I, when I went to buy them. And I was just like, whatever, dude. They're so good, I don't care. Um, even these, I've even taken that hard fall on the Inmotion V12, the high torque where I had that cut out. That new damage is from that crash, guys. They work, they do their job. They're no joke. These are my favorite piece of electric unicycle gear by far. And one hack, they go on like this, guys. So they, whenever you go to put them on, the inside like this, they go in just like, just like that right there. And then, one thing you can do, if, if, nice, if it's sliding down on you a little bit, you can crisscross these bottom two. If, if this thing is, is having trouble staying up or if it's too, um, too big, crisscross the bottom two. Literally take this tab and um, what you can do is, I'm even going to do it right here just to show you guys. Crisscross those right there. Yeah, it locks them on there way better when you crisscross them. Ow. Phew. So just put them on there like that. But they do their job, man. Like, if you don't have a pair of these and you're riding EUC, you got to get a pair, man. And I'll put the links below, guys. If you use my links for the Amazon, um, it, it literally, that's how I buy my groceries, guys. All the people that use the Amazon links to buy stuff, there's even guys on there, I see them buying stuff that's not um, EUC related stuff. They'll just buy their dog food, their cat food, whatever it is every month. 
shout out to you. I see that on there. But more of everything to do with electric unicycle stuff um, under this video. The knee pads, and I also have individual links for the knee pads under this video as well. So check out the whole entire EUC store that I spent forever meticulously picking out shirts, knee pads, shoes, wrist guards, gloves, camera gear, drones, everything you can imagine, all linked below in my Amazon store. Check it out. You definitely need a laser rolling jacket, and then I got my Liat knee pads ready to roll, and then you need good gloves and good wrist guards. So, let's see this. Where are the wrist guards? Okay, so these are my favorite wrist guards right here, hands down. These are the Dekine wrist guards. I bought these on a whim one day. I didn't even think I would end up liking them, guys. I love them. They're, they're literally my favorite wrist guard ever made. They're perfect. Now, I got the the small ones, and they came very small. And you can see these are tight wrist guards, guys. Look at this. So they were. these are the small ones, just so you know. And they came so tight, what I had to do to stretch them out is I took um, a can of WD-40, and I just put them in put the can of WD-40 inside of the wrist guard overnight and just let it sit so that it would um, expand it and stretch it out in there. And it actually worked out well. And now they're they're the perfect size and I can fit most gloves over them because they're so small and slim. And if you got bigger hands, I'd tr honestly get the medium guys, put like a can of WD-40 in it to stretch it out as much as you need to overnight or you know you can fit any can of whatever if it takes a can of beans whatever it takes to be able to stretch them out to get them exactly the right size and that's key because then you can take gloves like these these are the alpine star sp8 love these gloves these are my favorite euc gloves because they have this collar right here this collar is everything guys when you go down on gravel or the road or anything like that the worst place ever dude to get road rash is on your wrist it sucks so bad guys and it could be really dangerous man going down and um you know hitting your wrist right there so this creates that whole collar and this is big guys because you're going to be putting your hands out you want this whole area you can even see right there that this um, wrist guard under here has done its job and arguably you could say oh we'll put the wrist guard over the gloves and I've done that guys but I love the way this setup is and I'm gonna buy the same gloves I went down hard right here guys and it was because I had to avoid a homeless man had his shopping cart in the middle of the bike path whenever it was dark outside and I hit it at about 25 miles an hour and I flew and this was the day I bought these gloves whenever this happened and ever since then I haven't had a problem um, with them ripping or anything but the first day I got them I was very glad that I did get them because I literally had this set up on them and I hit a homeless person shopping cart at about 25 miles an hour and I was good to go and I went straight down dove hit my knees ripped these up like crazy but I was good to go and there's and I, I still trust these gloves because I have my wrist guards under it so there's no I'm probably going to upgrade them soon, but you see there's still full protection there in the palm, which is awesome, even though they're ripped. So, they do their job. Full sin. This is one thing that everybody overlooks when it comes to electric unicycles. And if you're overlooking this, you need to pull your head out of your rear end and buy a pair of motorcycle shoes. And I don't care what they are, I don't care if it's motorcycle boots, I don't care if it's motorcycle shoes, I don't care what it is, it, it has to be something that's not going to come off. you got to be able to crash that unicycle at 40 to 50 miles an hour and your shoes have got to stay on your feet. And it's happened to me, dude I love the high top shoes, I wear the Supras, I wear them with the loose laces, I love me a good pair of loose skateboard shoes. I rode like that for years. I did. I learned my lesson one day. Crashed. My shoes literally stood on the unicycle. I separated from the unicycle. And all you have is toes and socks dragging across concrete. It's not fun. So this right here shows. Check this out. 
you can see the toe of these shoes. Now these are the Alpine Star. I think these are the these are the faster threes. Alpine Star faster three motorcycle shoes. And these are not perfect, guys. I'm probably going to switch to something different. Um, I wish that there was a little bit more flexibility, like in the actual sole. You see, there's not much, man, at all. Like especially towards the back, back here, which I mean. God, it's so hard with, with electric unicycles, man. You want to have more feeling. You almost, it'd be ideal if they made like a carding shoe where you could kind of feel on the bottom, you know, with all, you could get all the feels on the bottom of it, but then it was armored around it. You know, they needed to design an EUC specific shoe and I think they will eventually, but it would be a hard exterior and a fully, a softer bottom than this, than a motorcycle shoe. Um, a little bit thinner than this, but um, these are great guys. Again, I got these small and I bought a shoe stretcher. I bought an actual shoe stretcher and I put it in here and I wet them and I put my foot in them and I wet them and I got them to fit exactly perfect. So this is, they're actually a size too small for me and I used this shoe stretcher to stretch them out. It took forever. And then helmets guys. So with helmets, uh, with full face helmets guys, they have gotten to where, um, just like with everything guys, it's changed a lot. So back when I used to race motorcycles, like in, tw in 2009, helmets, to get a good motocross helmet, you needed to pay a lot of money. You needed to pay like $500, and if you paid any less than that, the helmet quality significantly went down. And now, as manufacturing has gotten better, they can, you know, actually produce a lot of quality helmets at a cheaper cost. I would honestly go, I'm going to link some stuff below, but I bought this one right here. It's going to be coming here on Thursday, and it's a big thing, guys, because whenever I get a helmet, it's kind of like a brand to me. You know, it's like um, it's kind of like a thing people know me by. So I'm going to be changing that soon. Um, this, a lot of people look for this helmet. You can't find it because it's old. This one was made in 2014, and it's heavy, dude. Like, it's so heavy. You don't want to get this helmet. It's, it's no good, and it's expensive for when I got it, so... The helmet I would get right now, if you want a, like a motocross style helmet, the company LS2 is making some incredible helmets. Like they have some like crumple zones on those things to where like the, the visor bend, bends and everything way better than this old plastic and stuff. And it's right at that $200 price point. I'll link it below. It's called the LS2 helmet. I'll put a picture right here of this thing. It's a beautiful helmet, guys. Literally incredible um, helmet. And for 200 bucks, I mean, I, I really want to be able to see this thing in my hands. I got a full review coming for y'all when this thing lands. Because, dude, I look for helmets forever. I literally message every company that made helmets, Alpine Stars, Liat, all of them. I was like, hey, you know, um, can I get a helmet sponsorship? Can I do that? Whatever. I really reached out to him. I was adamant about it because I was like, dude, I wear it in 500 videos, you know? Like, I tried to get him to realize that, but they didn't get it. So, I bought the LS2 helmet for 240 bucks, I think it was. Shipped to the door, Amazon Prime. I'll link it below. Beautiful helmet. Anyways, full face helmet and goggles are your next two things you're going to want to get. I mean, you have to have these two full face helmet and goggles and I've tried to ride in sunglasses guys but these unicycles go I mean if you're riding over 40 miles an hour uh, you want goggles man because it stops all the dust particles it stops the wind from getting in your eyes it stops your eyes from watering and if you crash you don't know what's gonna hit you that's another huge thing about why I wear goggles guys is if you crash you don't know if you're gonna crash into a tree limbs if the unicycle is gonna come apart and a part of it's going to hit you in the eye. If a foot plate's going to come hit you in the eye, you don't know what's going to happen, dude. You need to protect your eyes, and that is a huge thing. Like, I love goggles. I love the look of 100% goggles. That's why I always rock these. I think they're good, affordable, quality goggles, and that's why I wear them, and, and I have for so long. Was um, coming home, and there was a massive wildfire going on, and law enforcement couldn't even be in the area where I was because they didn't have goggles. They didn't have glasses that covered their entire peripheral vision and all that stuff. I had goggles and was like, 
dude, why is it shut down? I gotta get home. Where I'm all the time too. Like, you, it, there's just so many scenarios where I've come up to where I, I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm glad I got my goggles on. And there's been so many scenarios where I'm like, you know, I wish I didn't have any goggles right now. There's never really been a time like that. And if so, I can just take them off and throw them on my belt, you know? But, and this is a TCOM system. If you get this, you can literally ride next to your friends, answer phone calls, listen to music, and wire it up in your helmet. And if they have one, you don't have to yell. You can just talk to each other casually because there's a microphone built in. And you can they can be up, you know? This is for, like, people that ride motorcycles when they're riding in a pack down the interstate. So you can be up, you know, about 200 yards away. We even use these for snowboarding instead of walkie-talkies. So we're always connected snowboarding. And if he dips over behind a ridge line or something, I don't have to sit there and yell. I can just be like, yo, come over here, dude. I'm, I took a left, you know, and you went right. So that's TCOM. Check them out. They're cool. You can get them for super cheap now on Amazon eBay. I'll link one below for you. Anyways, let's go ride, dude. Enough, enough BS. Let's get out of here.